Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Chef Girl RD. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a New England clam chowder. And we're gonna be making this right in the Ninja Foodie Hot and Cold Blender. So this is a big favorite in New England. And I would know because I actually live in New England. And this is uh, what we typically call white chowder, also known as New England clam chowder. It's full of flavor, it's absolutely delicious, and it's really easy to make. So what I'll be using today, I have a cup and a half of water, and then I mixed in two tablespoons of flour and just whisked that. And then I have two cups of half and half. I have one cup of diced potatoes. Now you can use regular potatoes and peel them, but you don't have to peel them. These are just petite potatoes that I diced up. And then I've got one can of whole baby clams. You can use uh, minced or chopped clams as well, but they're gonna get chopped up in the blender anyway. I drained out the juice. I reserved a good, this is just under two ounces. And then I have a half a cup of chopped onions. These are just frozen. You can use fresh if you want. I took three slices of bacon. I pre-cooked it and then just chopped it up. I have two tablespoons of butter, and I have some salt and pepper here. You just wanna do that to taste, but I have a half a teaspoon of each. So I have my pitcher here. I'm just gonna take the lid off. We're gonna start by adding in our water mixture with the flour. I'm gonna add my two cups of half and half. I'm going to drop in my diced potatoes and my onions, add my bacon, my salt and pepper, and I'll pour in my clam juice. I'm going to hold off on my butter and my clams, and I actually have a teaspoon of some fresh chopped parsley here, but that's optional. So we'll just apply that lid, set the pitcher back in the base. We're gonna turn the blender on. We're gonna use the manual cook button. We're gonna set to high. And we're gonna let that count up and I'm gonna give one quick pulse, just like that. I'm just gonna take off the lid. I'm gonna add my clams. Drop in my butter and my parsley. Put the lid back on and we'll resume just by pushing the high button again. And I will go ahead and hit the pulse again and we'll let that keep counting up another 15 minutes. We'll check it around 40 minutes. So with 33 minutes in, I'll just give you a little visual of what's going on in there. All right, we are at 50 minutes. I actually let that go a little longer because I checked it at 40 and it was still a little thin. So I'd imagine the longer you go, the more it's gonna thicken up. But at this point, I'm a little anxious. So I'm just gonna take it out now and we'll see what we got. The steam is really hot. Let's see. We definitely have some chunks in there, so that's good. But it's still on the thinner side, but that's okay. I'm gonna put some in a bowl anyway. All right, so this is what we got. And it's, it's not as thick as I would have liked it to have been, but looks delicious and it's chopped up a little more than I would like but again we did make this in a blender so I really wanted to see how it was going to come out and I guess the most important part is how it tastes so let's give this a taste mmm wow okay well that makes up for everything 
this is really, really good. So I guess if you don't mind not having the chunks and you don't mind it all chopped up a little more so, then I would definitely try this recipe in your hot and cold blender. Now, if you do prefer the larger chunks, then you can always go ahead and do this uh, right in the foodie. You can also just do it on the stove top or in your crock pot. So it's really up to you. The recipe is still the same. If you wanna change up the cooking method, then that's entirely up to you and it's quite all right. It's still gonna taste great. And I think I'm gonna play around with this recipe a little bit more and try to perfect it to make it a little thicker for next time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Bon appetit, guys.